All right, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G back from the wilderness of Idaho to bring you a patch update summary for Crossout, the 0.11.45 update. There is a huge list of balance tweaks, which I covered in the previous video, Incoming Nerfs. You can find the link for that floating around up there somewhere. Uh, but let's briefly cover the big things that are going to be important to you in this update. Um, they've gone ahead and added weather change options to custom mode. Okay, neat, fun, not a huge deal. They have gone ahead with the changing of the power score of a lot of the parts um, because they added that special rarity, you know, that weird teal light blue color in between rare and epic. So what they've gone ahead and they've done is uh, they've went ahead and reduced the power score of the blues, the dark blues, by 13%, the rares, um, to kind of fit that special rarity in there. Um, they went ahead and they made some tweaks to cannons. They made some tweaks to machine guns. Um, overall, machine guns are getting damage reductions. A lot of the machine guns are going to be getting uh, durability buffs. Cannons are getting pretty some pretty big tweaks and they're getting some damage buffs uh, throughout and it'll, all of the line of fixed cannons. Um, so we're talking judges, prosecutors, executioners tsunamis are all getting penetration uh added varying degrees of penetration um but most of these are I mean, there's a fair few nerfs that come through here now when we get to the epic rarity weapons um they've also reduced the power score of epic weapons by five percent across the board now the cricket this one's getting a big fat nerf we talked about it earlier now it's not a nerf to reload it's a nerf to the rate of fire so that's the rate at which the missiles are going to come out of the cricket when you fire it so you're going to get a lot less alpha damage in one spot it's going to spread damage around a lot more they're also reducing the blast radius by 10 percent all right so as you can see overall cannons are getting an explosion damage reduction Pulse Rifle, they're getting some small tweaks. The Spike's getting a big fat boost to speed of the ammo. Now here's the deal with auto cannons. They're reducing the damage by 5% and they're also reducing the durability on auto cannons pretty much across the board. So this is a straight up nerf to auto cannons. Why? I have no idea. I really don't. Now machine guns we all know are like wet toilet paper and just get stripped instantly, which is why I rarely play them. So what they are doing is they are, for the most part, buffing durability of machine guns uh, across the board. Um, some of your homing missiles are getting buffs. King is getting a nerf. Uh, melee is getting a buff. They've gone ahead and they've tried to rework the Arathron so that it's functional. It's still not amazing. Um, durability reduction in Colossus, meh. Cheetah gets a nerf on how quickly it's going to help your cooldowns. Uh, goes from 20% to 15%. That's kind of a big deal. Uh, another one of the big deals is ML200s are getting a pretty big buff to tonnage. So you're going to be able to make bigger, heavier spider walking spooters of death, which is great. And the other thing that's getting a big fat buff is the big room. It's going to have more mass. It's going to have more tonnage. It's going to have more speed and it's gonna go ahead and increase its power score. So hopefully, big rooms have a better place on the battlefield. Um, la 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 la, yeah, Reaper gets a buff. Nothing new that I didn't already cover, except this last thing. So did you watch my video a couple days ago um, where we had double shield? We combined the new Nova Legendary Cabin with an Aegis uh, shield generator, and it was awesome. And I had a lot of fun on it. Well, they've gone ahead and they've made it now so that the Aegis uh, works 75% less shield when you have a Nova, which absolutely sucks. But I guess I get why they did it. Didn't really feel like it was that OP combining the two, but apparently they must have been like, wow, Mr. G did okay with these together. So it must have been OP. So we had to change it. Uh, they've also gone ahead and improved display of grid and attachment points of parts in build mode. So when you hit F and you get all those weld points that show up, apparently that's going to look better. Okay, we didn't ask for that. You know what we have been asking for is a sandbox mode uh, and uh, mirrored building mode. Tarjum, if you are listening and you do watch these, we would actually, we would like that. Um, they've added a visualization to the Griffin Cabin's perk. The minimap frames will be painted in the color of your team. Not sure what that looks like until we try it in 
combat. Um, and other than that, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, as always, like and subscribe. Mr. G here bringing you guys the latest updates and trying to do the reading and skimming it so you don't have to. I'm bringing it to you quick and dirty. Hopefully, we can see some decent changes down the pipe and some more cool building parts. We would like those. And I know we've all been waiting for that new Relic Mammoth Cannon that we've been seeing in raids. I would love a fire explodey shell cannon targem. So the sooner you can put that on the private test server for me, the sooner I can share it with you guys. Also, Woody Rojo, if you are watching, I want to interview you in person on camera. Do let me know on the Twitter. Uh, I'm going to check you guys later. Be good. Stay safe out there. Mr. G out. <laughs>